Hello friends, my name is Surreal Emil and welcome back to some more Gran Turismo 3 a spec. Today we're continuing on with our Let's Play. This is episode 19 and in today's episode we're going to be carrying on the races in the Beginner League. This time we are going to be taking a look at the race for Turbo Sports Models or Turbo Challenge as I'm going to call it. Anyways, um, the car we are going to be using for this, unlike last time where I decided to pick something dumb and something no one else would use, today I'm going to pick something which is kind of somewhat overrated but will probably win us the race. We are going to be buying ourselves an MR2. Uh, again, yeah I know I've already used an MR2 in this series but I don't care, this is a different MR2, look it's a, it's a purple one, it's an SW20, I actually do like this car, it's not really overhyped either. Anyways. Uh, I don't know if it comes with a turbo stock, either way, it's getting a turbo, how... 382 horsepower, let's not do that. 325, let's do that. Um, yeah. Um, wait, what was that? Um... I don't know why anyone's on about in chat, to be honest with you, they're just speaking to each other. Uh, so we're gonna put sports tires on this as well to make it controllable, and that should be about all we need, really. Uh, and then we'll see what happens. Uh, it should end well this, I would imagine. Uh, race for Turbo Sports Models. We're going to be heading to Midfield, Raceway, Test Course and Special Stage Route 11. Which in that case has actually given me an idea. There might be one more thing we need to do to this car. Um, in that colour, good stuff. I like the colour a lot. Is this Forza Mode Sport? Fucking Q, welcome. How you doing? We need this. If we are going to test course. Uh, so yeah, because stock transmission will probably be terrible. It is the turbo model. Well, either way, it's got another turbo on it now. So yeah, I, I needed to doubly make sure it's turbo. Anyways, midfield raceway, reverse, test course, special stage route 11. Midfield raceway in reverse is first. Okay, we are on the grid of our first race. And apparently I was right to put the turbocharger in this car because there's a 3000 GT VR4 turbo in this race. There's also a Sylvia Case, which apparently comes with a turbocharger. A Skyline GTS, an Audi TT, and a Fiat Coupe, which I probably should have gone with actually because Fiat Coupe is fun. Uh, I, 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 hey, this is Gran Turismo, not Gran, uh, this is Gran Turismo, not Forza. We don't need to really do much in the way of tuning on this game. Uh, as you're probably about to see because yeah. You know how I didn't want to leave this race to chance? It's not being left to chance. Anyways. To be fair, these upgrades aren't actually that expensive. I think this costs like 18 grand. Oh, okay. We have interestingness. Oh boy, we have interestingness in the handling. The, the Peugeot was nice to drive. This, oh, is going to be interesting. Sylvia, ew. Why would anyone point that out in a pack? Like this. I mean, there's a fucking 3000 GT. Look at it. In all its goddamn glory, it's the correct model as well. Which is good. I could have actually used the... night. I think the 97s in this game. I should have actually used that. Um, oh yeah, that model Sylvia does have the turbo. Because I think it's the 1.8 that doesn't... I have no idea how it works. It's Sylvia's. I don't care, quite frankly. Anyways, 3000 GT is apparently not happy with my um, choice of colour, I guess. Because he's chosen boring silver, but it's still 3000 GT, so I don't care. Anyways, oh god, no! <laughs> Just fucking put wheels on the thing. Heck yeah, oversteer. Oversteer is... it's oversteer, it's understeer, it's jelly, essentially, this suspension. How could it be this bad? This car's from like 90... I think this car's younger than I am. And it's, well, this particular model is anyways. Um, you made the front end stiff, it could be stable. Uh, granted, yeah, but... Phone. Uh, granted, yeah, but, but, but where's the fun in that? Where's the fun in that? Oh my god. That's not good. <laughs> that is not good through corners. Is that a text message? Could be a text message. I should check that in a second. Anyways. Reminds me my S tuner fails. Uh, but they again. This this is this is Gran Turismo. You don't tune in Gran Turismo. That's like the number one rule of old Gran Turismo games. You don't do any tuning. You just whack the biggest turbo you can on it and just see what happens. Uh, also, watching the uh, watching the rearview mirror as the track magically disappears right before your very eyes. Wow. 
Anyways, 19 younger than I am was a great year. Probably was. I have no idea what year this particular model's from. I think it, I think this the GTS is like one of the later models. Like this is a 97, 98 maybe. I'm not sure. Never been running in the 90s. 90s was a good time, I guess. I don't know. Probably was. It's probably a swag in Heckfield time. But, as we are about to cross the line, yeah, as we hit the limiter, there we go. Lovely jubbly. Apparently the SW20 was a good choice, uh, as I've apparently kicked the ass of everything. The Fiat Coupe has beaten a skyline. That does make me slightly happier. Anyways, 5,000 credits later. Exit out of here, and we head on to the second race. The next race heads to Test Course. Oh boy. Okay, so here we are at Test Course. There is the field. Now, I think, just to be on the safe side, we are going to go ahead and just bring these gear ratios out a little bit more. I took them... Uh, I basically changed them just before the midfield race, but I'm going to just change them again. Just so they are a little bit longer for test course. Anyways, field is pretty much the same. Uh, 200 SX is in this race, so slightly uninteresting car has shown up. Or another uninteresting car. Actually, to be fair, the 200 SX is probably one of the more bearable of the Sylvia brand people. Anyways... There's another Sylvia, and now we'll see sort of what sort of speed we can get out of this car. Um, oh, we can get a big fast out of it. Do some slipstreaming, pop out, there we go. Have I got 5 speed? No, I've got 6. Excellent. Well, we will see... What were you saying about not chewing Gran Turismo? Uh, shut up. Anyways. Not, like, you can tune gear ratios and stuff, but basically, here's what you tune in Gran Turismo. Gear ratios and downforce, the rest of it's irrelevant. Like, yeah. The, that's all you did in GT2. Uh, that's all I did as a kid, change gear ratios and put up downforce. And guess what, that's all I'm going to be doing. I'm not, I can't tune suspension anyway. I'm not even going to attempt to, because I don't like tuning, because it's really fucking boring. So, yeah, 200SX isn't the specific model, uh, it's a Nissan, it's a car, it's not a particularly interesting car in my book. Also, this is a very fast SW20 if my kilometre hour reading thing's correct. I should probably just leave it in fifth and let it run out of the gear, apparently. Uh, yep. Yeah. Well, six gear does seem to be a little bit too long. 283. 285, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. Go on. I think 300 kms an hour is 180 miles per hour. If we can get this to that, that'd be pretty swagging. It's just the Sylvia in certain regions. Yeah, I think the 200SX is the Japanese... No, because... No, because the 180SX isn't a Sylvia, is it? It's roughly 260 miles per hour, clearly. It has more gears than NFS Underground 1. Yeah, Underground 1 had, like, cars that had, like, 5 speeds and nothing else for the most part. And then there was a few 6 speed. Most of the later cars are, like, 6 speeds. Also, 5th gear is the speed gear. I wonder how much speed I could actually get out of this thing if I... Uh, 300 kilometers is 186 miles per hour. Okay. If I can get this thing to like 190 then, that'd be cool. Almost doing 186 miles per hour. Yeah. Come on, Bay. I'm surprised you're not rejoicing at the fact this is an MR2. Um, Because, you know, you've got a hard-on for the MR2. To be fair, I don't blame you because MR2 is a very good car. I do have to admit, I really like this one in purple. Like, I, I didn't think this car came in purple, but the fact it comes in purple does mean I like it, so. Uh, oh, it's an S13, but it's not an S13. I get you. Um, so, it's basically, because it's a hatchback and it's slightly more aerodynamic, it's basically a better Sylvia, then. That's what you're trying to say to me. 
I know the 240SX is basically an S14, and is it an S14? I think it's an S14. It's also a, a pile terrible because of the bad engine. Um, anyways, uh, speed 280 and shift up. Come on. Come on. I want to get 300 kilometers an hour out of you. I know it can probably do it if it had a long enough runway. Like, if this was slightly longer, it probably would be able to. 93, 94, 95, 296. Ah, now I'm going to have to start turning. Yeah, 296 uh, kilometers an hour. Uh, I'm not 14. I can't drive a car if I was 14. Also, ill. If I was 14, I'd still be in school and probably be a lot happier because school was good because I didn't have to do anything. Um, dark green probably looks cool on these cars. I like dark green for cars. It does look kind of nice, depending on the car. 300 porno meters. 240SX is worse as 13 because the 2.4 liters. Oh, it's an over. Oh. Nice. Lovely jubbly. Uh, why? What have I done? Some models have dual overhead cams. Eh, I get it. Pay more attention to what you say. I, I said kilometers, not ponometers. I can assure you I didn't. Anyways, that would be dumb if I said that. Anyways, third race. The third and final race heads to the special stage Route 11. Anyways, here we are at special stage around 11 for the final race. We are going to go ahead and take some of the weight out of these gear ratios because they are a little bit too long. Uh, so let's just bring those in. Eh, we'll still leave a little bit of length to them. We'll go for about 30. There we go. Hopefully. Anyways, uh, in this final race, that is the grid. And let's get on with the racing. Uh, he creamed the corner. Just like in part two, cream the corner, yeah. You can't take this, yeah. Turns out Gran Turismo, ta oh, Gran Turismo 1 tactics don't work in GT3 sometimes. Anyways. Alright, let's see what we can do. 3000 GT is basically the god car of this race. But we are passing him. Yeah, uh, I think... Now that the ratios are a little bit less long, I do actually have a little bit more of a, a thing. What's the word? Oh god! Don't want to end up in the back of the uh, 3000 GT, do we? He smacks the corner, I smacked the corner, but I smacked it at a bit of a better angle, and I have the straight line speed on you, sir. Push him out wide, and then get immediately... Yep. <laughs> Just have that. On the brakes again. A little bit of power, a little bit of power, a little bit of power. Power! Ferris wheel in the background that makes lots and lots and lots of lights happen. Because of lighting. Alright. Oh, this car is quick. I, I like it a lot. Uh, I wouldn't say it's my favourite car of the LP so far, just because we've had some pretty darn cool... Um... We've had some pretty calm, uh, darn cool creations, but uh, yeah, this this weird turbo SW20 is uh, it, it's a good idea. Let's put it that way. As it turns out, turbo SW20 is a very very good idea. Right, let's round for you here. Lovely jubbly, and it might. All right, don't know why I decided to do that. On the power again, we are in the lead, going onto the straight, and I'm assuming the straight is where we're going to have some fun, because, well, this car is quick on the straight, so, yeah, uh, we are going to have some fun with this, apparently. Just hyped for the Pink Vitz GP. Well, you're going to be waiting for a couple of episodes there, because we're not quite there yet. Um isn't news to me, bae. Anyways. 224, 1956 to the 3000 GT. Brakes! Oh god, the brakes! 
Okay, that's how you actually take that corner, apparently. You sort of forget you have brakes for a second. Um, smash into the wall. Make sure your rear end goes into it, though, because that actually stops the oversteer. So that's nice. Uh, I can save that, no problem. Pretty simply. Pretty simply, innit? In it, love. It's pretty simply. I just realised. It's half past eleven, and I've got to be up at seven, half past seven tomorrow morning because my car goes in for its MOT, where I'll probably fail and I'll have to spend several hundred pounds on fixing it. Because that's the way things happen. And due to be. F tits are ass. Tits, definitely. I, I don't want that in my face. Ass. Thanks. No. Don't get me wrong, I mean, I can appreciate an okay one, but it's just not my thing. Q just says yes. Apparently that car has really dim lights when it's uh, in the rear view. Oh no! That's not quite what I wanted. Not quite. Oh wait, I can be on the inside for this corner if I just break and apparently glitch him out a bit. There we go, lovely. Yep, 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 yay. There we go. We're around the corner. Good. It's good. It's good to go around corners. So, yeah, anyways. Power, power, power. Uh, I fuck what now? No idea. As we are slowly getting away from the 3000 GT as we come across the line. There we go. Lovely jubbly. I wonder what prize car we're going to get for this actually. It will be something uninteresting, I can assure you. Anyways. Lovely jubbly. 5,000 credits in the bank. And as we exit out of here, we will find out what our prize car was. And it's going to be for completing a solo event. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, I wasn't expecting rainbows or anything, so... Yeah. Anyways. I'll, I'll have a look at that. When we come back into here. Go to my home. And our prize car was a Daihatsu Quare TR XX Avenzato R, whatever that means. It has 659 cc's, it has a turbo, dual overhead cams, 63 horsepower. Yep, R31 is not in this game, no. Uh, so that's it, anyways, for this episode of the Gran Turismo Free Let's Play. I do hope you've enjoyed. Next time we're going to be taking a look at the TT Championship, so join me for that. Anyways, friends, I want to thank you all very much for watching. My name's been the Rail Emil, and until next time, farewell.